1868, uh, William F. Yardley and William Luttrell formed the uh, African American Volunteer Fire Department. William Francis Yardley and William Luttrell formed a separate African American Volunteer Fire Department with about 100 volunteers in 1868. Fire Chief Stan Sharp says African Americans were not hired for the city until 1952. Eight were hired at that time. Uh, they were housed at a separate fire station, uh, station number four in East Knoxville. Um, and they remained that way, uh, totally separate, until sometime in the mid-60s. The eight African Americans hired in 1952 were housed in separate fire stations. This particular unit was at station number four in East Knoxville. It, it took a long time just to get any paid uh, African Americans in, in the fire department. And then it was, you know, 15 years or so before they were actually integrated into the, the different fire stations. They were still kept se separate for, you know, 10 to 15 years. This is the, the first group of African Americans that were hired in, in the fire department in 1952. Uh, there were eight. Chief Sharp says the slow integration of the fire department began in the mid-1960s. They, they broke new ground uh, with the fire department. They, they need to be remembered and honored uh, for, for all that they did. The Knoxville Fire Department encourages community members to become firefighters and serve the city. Chief Sharp says he has the greatest job in the world. I can't imagine a, uh, a more rewarding job to have.